Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about a new cushion that I bought from YesStyle because I was looking for like possible products that I could uh, order because it was on sale. I think they had like f additional 15% off plus their like weekly um, promotion. So I just saw this and it was on sale. So I wanted to try it because I've never tried a cushion from their brand. So this is the Roman Zero cushion. So this is the box. So I already, this is what I'm wearing today. So now I'm using it artificially because it's really dark at the moment. So, but when I applied it, it was still a bit bright outside. So you will see how I apply it in natural light. So yeah, this is how the cushion looks like. It's really a pretty cushion. So yeah, if you want to see my review and my application, so please keep on watching. So now we will apply the cushion. So this is the box. I will just open it. So this is how it looks. So it's like a matte kind of packaging and like a gray color. So I will not put a primer or a sunscreen because I'm just staying home and I just want to know how it looks when there's no primer um, used so this is how it looks inside it's just with a mirror and then the puff this is the puff and inside so like always like the protective paper so this is the darkest shade so we shall see if it will suit me so First this side and then the other side. Okay, I need a mirror. I think it should match me good. And it's really cooling as well. And I like that because some cushion it was it's so dry if the sponge is just new so i need like a fix plus because i i didn't like how it looks on my face without like if the sponge was dry but this seems okay hmm. even a small layer it really is good already hmm i kind of like this it looks so light on camera but it looks okay in person or because it's dark that's why I don't see it good don't forget your neck so this is just one layer and I already like how it looks as you see it covered pretty good um, redness almost everything I don't need to use a concealer which is good and yeah this is the other side it's really amazing so I'm glad I saw this on sale so I could try it so I'll just put another layer under my eye and let's see how it will look now I will add more to see if it will really cover like not so much like the dark under eye hmm. yeah it's okay I really like how it looks hmm. yeah I think it works so I'll just finish the other side I think it's a bit not that dark anymore that's why you can use this as a concealer as well and if you want more coverage you can layer it really good but for me one layer is really enough it covered it's really smoothing on the face i'm so amazed so i'll just finish the other side how it looks after just the same um layer with this side um one layer like all over the face and then a bit for the under eye and the rest i put it on my neck so in camera it looks like this is too light compared to my neck we shall see with the bronzer later maybe it will be okay but i also applied like some on my leg but as you can see it's really smoothing and the coverage is really amazing and i feel like just a small amount is really enough it's really it, my face looks really better and flawless and a bit um yeah it's not also too dewy i think after a few hours it will be like almost matte on my face so i don't need to powder it or else it will be too heavy it's not like a skin like kind of effect because as you can see it's a bit you see it's a bit heavy like now it, 
if I think I would layer more and more, it would look really cakey. You know, you see um, this kind of formula. Yeah, it's a bit of a thicker kind of formula, and it covers really good. So, yeah, it's not like tacky or anything like that. But um, yeah, I see like it reminds me a bit of the pony effect. But this is a bit. Uh, but but pony is a bit thicker than this, or almost the same. Yeah, but I really like the finish. You see here, like it can cling to dry patches, but on my nose it looks good. It doesn't look like it's really highlighting my dry area. So it's also how it looks here. It really looks. I really like how it looks on my face. So I'll just finish my whole face, and we will see how it looks later. With like, but I will only use like powder products. I think. So this is the finished look so um it's a bit bright now because of the uh, artificial light but i will let you see maybe tomorrow i will have a clip that uh, it's still bright outside while wearing this and also after work how it looks how it stays on the on my face while wearing mask but when i applied i noticed like when i touch it it's a bit it moves it's like the part that i accidentally touch it the product was removed so i tried to set it with a powder so it will not happen because i also review i will also review a lipstick today that's why i i just powder it but i think when i reuse a mask i will also do that so it will not be like removed while i'm having mask on and yeah and first impression i'm really impressed um it covers really good even one layer is more than enough for me i love how it looks how it's so cover it's covering really good my dark spots and yeah i feel like, and also i don't need to consider it's a bit heavy looking that's why i think one layer for me is enough I'll just add with the like spots like here if i need to cover them because it will be a bit cakey looking already i if you add more powder i think it would even emphasize more like the the dry dry areas of your face so i prefer that um a one layer is enough for me if uh, you don't need so much coverage so it's a bit still looks a bit skin like and not heavy looking in your face if you uh, like add more layers so i think this would also be perfect like if you want to cover a lot because i noticed the coverage is really good even one layer is really um already covered my redness really good so yeah i i do love this um cushion for that for the definition so it offers perfect coverage to create a radiant complexion which i agree with less texture and long lasting effect and they have five shades 45 with the air light system this cushion foundation offers a lightweight and flawless semi-matte finish it's a long lasting and is resistant to sweat and oxidation so that's why it doesn't like other kind of cushion that's a bit glowy but this i noticed that it's it sets or like as it stays long a bit like matte and a bit powdery in some areas so i know i don't need to set it that's why it reminds me of the pony effect kind of formula it's just like that i don't need to set them and also the um, the moon shot so yeah this is really uh i i'm not sure with the sweat resistant i will update you when while i'm working and yeah if i wear it outside so far from my first impression i'm really amused how it looks on my face how it covers and yeah it just it's it's good that it doesn't look like shiny or oily it's just like semi-matte and this is like the kind of effect i, I want so w at the middle of the day it will not be like too shiny or too oily looking so yeah i do love this shade and i will update you on the following days that i will um that i'll be using it so yeah that is my review over my roman zero cushion foundation i hope it was helpful for you if you find this video helpful please give this a thumbs up it will help my channel a lot and if you could consider subscribing to my channel it will mean so much to me if you have any suggestions or requests please do let me know and i will try to make it possible for you so yeah thank you for watching and i hope i see you in the next one bye